So I'm guessing you're probably here because you want to see what happened at Foxtoberfest. Well, if you didn't go, you missed out. Turned out to be a super rad event. There's like 600 Fox bodies there. So Charlotte's about a three hour ride for me. So we had to get up super early and get on the road so we could try to get there at a decent time. Six forty-eight. Getting ready. What is a Weezer? Getting ready to fire up the goose. My neighbors aren't going to be happy with me. How excited are you? <laughs> I'm excited. We get those covers off the turbos, please. Even though we left at like 7.30, 8 o'clock, tried to make good time. It was still 11 before we got there. The party was already started. There was cars everywhere. There were people everywhere. The music was kicking. It was just cool. I'm just saying, if you didn't go, you missed out. Pulled in right from the back. Couldn't even get the car off the trailer. Had a bunch of you guys coming and checking out the, the goose, coming and saying hey. And uh, from there, it just got crazier. Wasn't really expecting that, but you know what's cool is it kind of puts the numbers that I see as far as like subscribers and that sort of thing to like faces, which is an amazing thing, right? It's just not a bunch of numbers. There's actually people on the other side of those numbers.
for watching. Hey, Kyle's nice to meet you. Yeah, yeah we'll, sure. We'll, we'll check, we'll I was telling someone the other day, like, if it wasn't for you guys watching, I'd just be some weird dude. Like, <laughs> I'm putting it on YouTube, you know, just for the So the venue was really cool too. It was at like a, a baseball stadium and the people who were putting on Foxtoberfest did a really good job, well organized, you know, people helping you as soon as you drive up to give you directions on where to go, where to park, how to get your registration stuff. There's plenty of bathrooms, all kinds of food. They had food trucks and breweries there selling their barbecue and beer and that sort of thing. And then the quality of cars there was just amazing. Like I've never seen that many extremely nice Fox bodies in the same spot. I mean, I was kind of embarrassed to have this car there. I mean, this car is not really that nice. This car is one of those cars that looks pretty good in pictures and in video. When you get close to it, it has a lot of years of wear and nicks and chips and fading and things that aren't necessarily finished. Um, I mean, I've said that before in some previous videos, but as far as like what I post, it probably doesn't really show what this car really, really looks like. If you've seen it in person, you probably know what I'm talking about. But regardless, like I, I was kind of ashamed to have it there. There was some extremely nice cars there. Actually, there was a full range of everything. And uh, I don't know, I guess it's not really that big of a deal. I always tell people that they shouldn't try to always be perfect, have the perfect car, have the you know perfect plan, whatever. Just kind of put in those steps and, and go do your thing. And so I was kind of glad that I took my own advice and just took the car for it to be seen, for you guys to be able to see it that it showed up. It wasn't perfect, it's not finished, but it didn't matter. It's not necessarily what it's about. It's not about having it a perfect car. After a couple hours of riding around talking to you guys, looking at all the beautiful cars, they did the awards. So the awards worked out really nice. I like the way they did it. So when you basically entered uh, Foxtoberfest, you got a number that goes on the car, and then they give you two ballots. And so with those ballots, you basically judge all your peers. So it's not judged by you know 10 people over here that go around and pick what they think is the best car, best cars. It's all your peers. So your peers get a ballot. Everybody walks around, fills out these ballots, they turn it in, they count the votes, and that's how they determine who does what. And it's pretty cool they had like all the four-eyed cars lumped into one category. I think they had like uh, three different winners for that year range. I think it was like uh, best daily driver, best modified, and best original which is those are great classes and then they did the same thing I think for another year range 
they had like three different year ranges, I believe. They did that for all those. And then they may have even done a uh, like an SVT class or something. To be honest with you, I didn't vote. That's why I don't really know. Um, I was tied up doing all kinds of other things. Had plans of voting and just waited too long. So anyway, I thought that was really cool that they kind of leave it up to all the people that are there with their cars to kind of vote on everybody else's cars. And then once it was all over, we hung out with y'all a little bit longer, we partied a little bit, we let everybody leave, then we loaded the cars and headed home. My buddy Chuck was there with me. He brought his car, one of his cars, he's got several. It was a 14,000 mile 93 Cobra. I mean, this thing is perfect. It's like it's brand new, like it came off the showroom floor, not a crease in the seats, not a, I mean, it's the perfect car. Anyway, he had it there, and of course he had to park next to me, which made me even look worse. Anyway, we hung out, did our thing, packed up the cars, and then headed home. Actually stopped over in Greenville, got something to eat at uh, Quaker Steak and Lube, and sure enough, there was a Mustang car show going on there. So that made two shows for one day. So it worked out pretty good. Anyway, just a little footage from Foxtoberfest. Hope you enjoyed that. If you didn't make it this year, hope to see you guys next year. And don't forget, Pitts is coming up. Be springtime. Ponies in the Smokies, if you're anywhere near uh, Gatlinburg, Tennessee, Pigeon Forge, you need to check out Pitts. Uh, I will be there for sure. Going to probably have this car there, may even have the Bibster, so make plans now. Pitts, I think it's March. Anyway, you can look it up. Just Google Ponies in the Smokies, you'll find their website. Check it out. It's a great place to take the family. It's a really great show. And uh, I look forward to seeing you guys there. I want you guys to come see my stuff. And uh, we'll have a good time. As always, thank you for joining me. I'll see you guys some more this week. Go do work, son.